All right, hi guys. Welcome to part three of my What Remains of Edith's Finch playthrough. A little play on words there for you. Much in the vein of Dumb and Dumber with P.T. the... Was he a Finch or was he a Canary? I don't even remember now. But yeah, so last time we had two actually pretty exciting, um, like, unique, interesting... After Sam died, story modes. My mom and Edie got really close. With the they both photography lost a lot. and the comic book thing. Gregory. Okay, can we open this? Oh, turn into a baby now. So no? Okay. Look at that face! Wow. What I did see was I had a look at the achievements, there's only like 10, which is why they're so much. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. Um, but one of them was to do with knocking letters in a bath or something. So. Dear Kay. Do you remember the way Gregory that used to laugh when he guessing. thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I can relate to that. Okay, here we go. Bath. I okay, think he saw things the rest of us how don't. Do we, how do we knock stuff off them? Look at them cute little baby feet. Hold on, sweetie. Hello? Sam, I told you I don't ah, want okay, to Okay, so now. these letters. Come on, come on, come on. I wonder what I saw. One more. One more for a hundred. Yes. There we go. Gregory. You reminded me so much of Calvary. We Whoa, this is actually cool. Lost in his imagination. Whatever it was he saw. Really? It sure made him happy. It's like the was it the rubber dub saying? And like the frog was their leader and they This is lovely. Wow, I love this one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I love it. Whoa. Whoa. I know how Whee! silly it sounds. Da, da, da. But I worried about a baby being too happy. I love it. I feel her slipping away. Oh. Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Oh, look at that. The, the ball has gone through the whale's head. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. I wish you could have told us.
Yes, I can fuck off. I'm sure he's happy. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. That was that was amazing. <laughs> Look at his little face. Ah. <sighs> that was great. I mean, I know, I know, uh, it's gonna be like sad, but a it was, for Gus, but it was also who like always a really said the fun wedding was a bad idea. little mini game thing, so. Yeah, I'm not sure how they want me to feel, but. Our father never Ooh. hit us kids, <gasps> at least not very hard. These ones the are great. My brother said with teenage disregard oh, can... that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding uh -huh. in our yard. Oh. My father was, made him come, of course, one. but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Is it this kid's not really like dragged off by the wind or something? That's gonna be silly. And this was pretty intuitive, you know. Though he'd never met her. The fly into the letters. Need a stepmom were the words that I... I now pronounce you husband and wife. To make him cry. Wow, look, that's pretty cool, like that. Oh, the... Fashioned... Beach. I tried talking about it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom with the words that I remember. Okay, what am I doing now then? Oh, we can go behind. Okay. And the rope or the string just goes right through the. Oh, look, we've got a totem pole thing. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Lol. It's got like old man hands. <laughs> oh, we've got more words over here. Shwing. Brum. The wind picked up and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Okay, there they go. And now they're inside the tent. Buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Oh dear. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. So I remind me of that um, calamari music loud whatever it's called. But yeah. Make as big a pile of stuff as possible. That's like a cool visual though. Make the music loud. Is there stuff behind us? Though? Lightning started. No, nothing behind us. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you.
She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Looks like glued shot or something. No playing outside without permission. No answering door for strangers. No messes after dark. All chores before dark. Respect others. Fair enough. Raise flag. Breakfast. Quiet time. Mop and mow the yard. <laughs> Greg be a baby. Cool. Jump rope. Jumping jacks. Push ups. Crunches. Run to mailbox and back. <gasps> All cool like a climbing wall thing. My mom moved up I to love the loft these after her brothers younger. died. They were in the playground. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. <sighs> Sanjay. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Nineteen eighty-six. Does he not have like a, a book or something? Oh, here we go. There we go. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Cool. Right, so there's loads of posters, but is there, is there much point in them putting out posters, like, outside their house? Because surely only they can see it. When my dad died, I don't think Mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Good view. But it didn't last. Lewis Rolls. Mrs. Finch. Wow, look at that. That's one hell of a picture. The beginning of when the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Have a look for this little peephole first. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. So, so you can slide in by pole. Can we go around the side? Yep. Ah, oh, there's a window as well. Keep on the ground. Nope, that's about it.
It doesn't look like there's a lot to interact with in this one. Oh, it's a pulley knot hole. Oh. Cool. Yeah, these are pretty cool. The magic paintbrush. Are we... there we go. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Wow, this is pretty low key. I was four when Milton disappeared. That was like the quickest one we've had. Hmm. That was strange. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Milton had found in the house. Mom didn't want it getting out. Okay, so now we'll go up the stairs outside here. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Cannery? Oh cool, like a little boat thing. <sighs> With a hash of pipe or whatever they're called. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Oh nice. The Wonderland Turbo, my favourite. Locker contents. Which one should we do first? Should we do the game? Or do we do the contents? Let's just have a look at here. Fireweed Road. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Ooh. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew past himself. In our sessions, I saw the same I'm a behavior. fish behind. Oh crap. His mind began to... Let me get that thing. Wonder. Oh! This is interesting. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd so left stick is controlling the maze, and right stick is still just then something the fish. moved. 
bats and toads and things that have not names. He knew it was all A in fish. his head. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. Dog souls. Oh, cool. I worried about him. Yes. Then. Daydreaming at the cannery. How we get up on them stairs? Try leaving. Or not. What I'm missing here. Ah, there we go. Follow that. I spoke with his boss. Copy. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Toto. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery, but his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination, so he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. And he won. Oh, Mario Danto. They begged Make him way to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewisville. <laughs> St. Louis. St. Louis, there you go, yeah. He started drifting away from our reality. Awesome. This is St. Louis. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot Holy to go shit. home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on.
In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a handsome queen. Handsome queen. The queen was on her own quest for radiant rainbows. Radiant rainbows. Oh wow. Oh and another. There you go. Wonderful. He followed the sound of her. Silver Harp. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. It's like landed far, far away. Very stop motion. For someone it's who'd never serious. known success in the real wow. world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Face of scars. Oh. He began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. We still got the, the hair. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Ooh. The palace would be packed with his companions. I don't even know what to make this. Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. Soundtrack's really good.
rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Emily Noth. Just draw a big fish. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Whoa, I thought we were going to actually get to play something. That's disappointing. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Mom ended up leaving everything behind. Mm. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. I just realized I haven't been like saying anything. I've been kind of just taking everything in. But I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Come on. There we go. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning, okay? Dear Edith, 
There's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. <gasps> we're gonna go to the old house. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. Hmm. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. We're just gonna keep going forward. We're gonna hit it eventually. I got turned around. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. As long as I walk up the woods, I should end up where I want to go. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. What, she forgot deer existence? Or heads? But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it, let go! Oh my god. I kicked god. and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. It looks like the uh, the tunnel from Space Jam, which see leads it. to the Looney Tunes. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. I guess if you're reading this now, 
things didn't work out that way. Are we getting born again or something? This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, cool, I dig all stories. So yeah, I've finished it and I'm still not sure quite what to make of it. Uh, I enjoyed it, yeah. Um, I'd recommend... Well, I mean, you've just watched me do it, so... If this is the only part you've watched, I'd probably say... I'd probably recommend it. Like I said in the first part, I got it because of the uh, the Game Pass thing. It was, like, it was like a pound. And I was like, sure, why not? I can try and uh, bash some games out. Uh, so yeah, like played this in like one night. It took about uh, like two, two and a bit hours, but that's like taking it steady and yay! We saw Johan's name in the credits. Um, and actually, it's really easy to get uh, achievements for it as well. So that's that's another positive if you're into that kind of thing. Um, a lot of very varied uh, like kind of level design with the individual episodes wow is that I thought that was going to be I thought that was going to be like the entire uh, credits already um, yeah that, that, it's like nothing I've ever played before so that's always a positive And yeah, it's got a lot of pluses. Um, nothing really, I'd say, was bad about it. Like, I kind of didn't really get what was going on. I mean, that's the point really, isn't it, when you're playing a game? You have to try and see what's going on. Um, so yeah, you know, like, pretty nice and... <laughs> like a cool way to explore a story and cool level design. And yeah, a lot of uh, positives, really. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, all I've got to say on it. Um, look at that hair. Wow. And that outfit. Poor Jordan. So that was What Remains of Edith Finch. So yeah, I would recommend it. And hopefully if you came along on the journey, it's only three parts. You came along with me on the journey then, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, stick with me because there's going to be a lot more games coming because I've got that Game Pass thing. Five years development. Um, oh cool, has got a picture of them, the actual family. Okay, so there you go, I'm just going to leave it on that end screen, and I'm going to say thank you for watching, 
and um, like and subscribe check out what I'm going to do next because I don't even know what I'm doing, going to do next there's like 10 different games that are a possibility so um, yeah we'll, I'll find out when you find out basically thanks for watching stay awesome and I'll see you guys next time for the next playthrough wherever that may be thanks a lot guys see you later